Oh, I'm so tired. Yes. You know what? All right, bet. We're done. We're done. That's right. You're so done? ungrateful. You're so ungrateful. I'm taking How all this stuff back. Do <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. Just do no, no, I'm taking all this stuff back. I need to be treated like a queen. I go get this to another female. I'll take all this stuff back. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Move. M move. Just do better. Move. I eat my. Get the fuck out of here. It's. Babe, it's constructive criticism. Oh, I think just fuck off, thanks. Constructive criticism? You're ungrateful! Just do better! Yeah, you're ungrateful. You're an ungrateful little shit, and that's what you are. I'm getting tired of this. You're never happy. What kind of Valentine's Bro, you're, you're, you're never happy. Just you're never happy. You're never happy. You would like it if you were a girl and you got all this? Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. Yes, I would be happy, because this is people out here ain't getting this. They're not getting that. I just spent I too much money. Better. You know what? I just spent way too much money. I should get the rose, the rose, like with the big old thing. You give me like five roses, and there's like no money in there. I'm so sick of these people. You, you know? Oh! There's no money in anything. You didn't give me any money. All right, Rezzy. You know what, Rezzy? You are a smelly pirate hooker. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Who do you think is a female role model? That will tell me a lot about you. Think I this would one. say Beyonce. See, here's the thing with Beyonce. She is probably one of the biggest con women ever. She oh. tells y'all, strong and independent. She tells you guys, all the single ladies. She tells you guys, I can have another you in a minute. But guess what happened? She went ahead and married Jay-Z, who has a higher net worth than her. When he cheated on her, she ain't going fucking nowhere. And she's still with him. So she tells you and sells you the lie of feminism. Meanwhile, when it actually happened to her, she folded. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another one. Let's get right into it. Now this first clip, it's a little longer. It's about two minutes long, but it perfectly illustrates how people aren't using their brains anymore. It just seems like people want to bitch about everything these days. Logic has left the building. Anyways, let's get right into it. Welcome to Mankind. And the one that really killed me was last Christmas, we canceled a song that was written in the 1940s called Baby It's Cold Outside. People said that they were triggered, that the lyrics were and they had toxic masculinity. And that's fine if you feel that way, but radio stations across the country wouldn't play the song because people were outraged, which is fine if you feel that way. But at the exact same time, the number one song in this nation for over two months was Wet Ass Pussy. I am not making that up. You can look it up. <laughs> Google it. So I want to wrap up my show by comparing and contrasting the lyrics of these two songs. <laughs> If indeed, this country has lost its fucking mind, shall we? Let's start with the horribly offensive Christmas song written just after World War II. I really can't stay, baby, it's cold outside. I gotta go away, baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been so very nice. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Beat it up, N-word. Extra large, extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. <laughs> My mother will start to worry. <laughs> Beautiful, what's your hurry? My father will be pacing the floor. Listen to that fireplace roar. Well, maybe just half a drink more. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. This is wet, come take a dive. Talk your shit, bite your lip, ask for a car while you ride that dick. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door, waves on a tropical shore, well, maybe just a cigarette more. I don't want to spit, I want to gulp. I want to gag, I want to choke. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, this country has lost its fucking mind. This world's fucking so fucked up. Yeah, and I remember when WAP came out hearing about how it's some female empowering feminist nonsense instead of just a dumb song about some nasty shit. I'm telling you, these modern women are trying to gaslight the world and they need to be called out. Hello? Hey baby, I'm five minutes out. Get ready for me if you know what I mean. All right. You smart. 
more. All right, if I can make this, I won't cheat on my girlfriend. Ah, eh, screw her. Fuck. You loyal. Dating is getting so expensive. So instead of calling an Uber, my wife gave us a ride. You a genius. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. It's not going to cost you a thing, but all of that is going to really help the channel grow. I really enjoy making these videos. and I'm going to do my best to learn you a thing or two to help make you laugh. And I'm going to keep bringing these videos to you daily. So keep an eye out for them. Now let's get right back into it. I like that. This is a funny clip, but you know, he was taking a shot with her. I'm sure he was leading her on a little bit, even though she was drunk. But look, any port in a storm, right, fellas? He was probably keeping her as a backup for that night. It's hard to see other people living your dreams. <laughs> naughty, naughty. What are the most important things to have in common with someone? A sense of humor morals like your moral compasses are aligned yes and sexual compatibility sexual compatibility absolutely i eat <laughs> so you gotta be cool with that. i eat as well i ain't never had that ever happen to me i'm trying to get see what that be like right there look be that you got this babe hit the ball and i'll let you put it in my butt really yeah no gotcha <laughs> Gotcha. What's up, bitch? This is a betrayal on levels that no one's ever seen. And the funny thing is, after seeing this, you're still gonna have some guys saying, oh no, it's okay for her to have guy friends. Babe, do you have guy friends? And what happens if I catch you with guy friends? Then we break up, you said? And when did I tell you this? The beginning of the relationship. Yeah, fuck bro, I've been there. I learned the hard way, man. Definitely set boundaries early. And if a woman is not willing to sacrifice anything for you, then move on. She clearly doesn't respect or, or care about you. And look, when you've got those blinders on, you got to try and remember that it's not always going to be the honeymoon phase. You really got to try and remember what women are capable of at their worst. You know, keep an eye out for those red flags. Protect yourself because that shit will come back and bite you in the ass hard. And whether you're like Family Guy or not, I think they hit the nail on the head with this next clip. And you got to remember that's the kind of mentality, that different mindset that you're bringing into your world when you're with a woman. So that's why you got to be careful. Ugh, come on, Chris. Girls are terrible. They're always backstabbing and giving each other phony compliments. Oh, wow. You are definitely not afraid of dessert. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on. You have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So muscular. I'm jealous of how thick with strength they are. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. Men, we know how to be friends. I'm not telling you not to go out and get a woman, not to get a wife, whatever the hell you want to do, but just always remember that that kind of psychotic, irrational, illogical energy is what you're bringing into your life. And in those shitty moments, it can be really easy to forget that you can be happy without that person if you need to move on. It can, you can be happy on your own if you want to. Just take it from this guy. and watch who you have babies with because what you see ain't all what you see. You have to get to know these women. And these young girls nowadays, they don't care. They don't have no morals, no uh, value for themselves. They just want to be superstars. 
be on the internet, be on the Instagram, be on love and hip hop and all of that mess. It's just crazy.